Creep out on monster, see if they can maybe catch someone off at a contact. Now they're gonna burst out as soon as they do indeed show their presence. Quick headshot from Ariel and the couple actually being found between Sergi and Ariel then in the end as well. Shush pulls one back, but he needs his teammate to come in quickly. You see an initially whoopsie, I believe, was just lurking around on mid. No credit pistols, even though in this round right now, as they focus fully on the next one. A little bit of a chance for X7 and Sergey also to build up money on those SMGs. Sergey only able to get one before he actually falls to the Glock through the smoke. A second for Bubsky, okay. As you can see, that is Ariel, I believe. We'll swap up to him, indeed. He's begun to rotate down. This gives the bomb plant now very likely over the Madlines, as long as they move quickly from this point forward, and they definitely should be. The player has said Monster Fallen as well as Roy over towards Connector, so... At this point now, the bomb does at least get planted. That was a, a massive victory that I really wasn't expecting them to find. Even getting the kill on Ariel in the spawn. Now they have an M4. This is getting very, very awkward. X7 rotating up with the UMP. Drops the M4 and also in the meantime does quite a lot of damage onto Acor. So I don't think there's uh, there's much that he can do anymore. Although it's not the player with the defuse kick going for the defuse. If he gets this kill on Alu, it's winnable. Oh no, he gets the M4. Right now the bomb is just being stuck with the spam tree. Three players going to be grouping up. A flash comes over. Alu playing anti-flash will be able to get one. As is Sunny. In the hands of Ariel, maybe that could have been used to slightly slow this push down. But that's not going to happen. Some good damage being found initially on towards the bomb carrier. But Bubski pops out for a quick headshot. Ariel in the pit is barely hanging on to life as well. And indeed he gets finished off. Sergei turns that corner. Oh, getting flanked out as well. Okay, Ariel should have this kill. And then brought down low. Why on the bomb site actually ends up falling. That's one AK down. And then still alive also in the meantime. Oh, okay, I jinxed it. The second I said that, he ended up getting taken down. So there we go. Alu's got an AK. He should be able to actually escape with that. Ariel not going to do much with them. Both going to see each other. Alu, though, eventually does swing wide. Shush goes down, and they had actually just sent the player in towards Connector to try and help him out as well. Another kill being found for Ents. That's Ariel over towards Short, but Rai, he actually picks up a double. And with that, it looks like they just want to commit straight towards A. Only being Sunny at the moment to hold it down. He has two flashes. Maybe to try and delay to push a couple of seconds, but that's not going to be easy. I believe he actually was blinded himself. Indeed, he was from Hunden. Sunny just jumping up on top of the truck takes him out. And with that, we should see the bomb getting planted. But X7 and Ariel in towards the spawn, and they don't have a defuse kit to work with. I'm not sure if there's any dropped around through the pickup. I would imagine there is, but I'm not sure if they're really in retrievable spots. Here we go, they're going for it either way. X7 pushing forward, takes a small bit of damage from the nade, but it's his teammate Ariel. Peeking in the mid, gonna spot the head of Acar. Nice opening. It looks like Madeline's not wanting to really actually fight around mid, knowing that there's not many weapons in play, friends. They do have a bit of a B stack coming in, but that's very quickly shut down by Hunden and Shush. Finding three players pushed up on short. Sergey is also in the exact same position coming in on short now, so will that be expected? It looks like it will. The angle was checked. Sergey taking down low, tries to swing out and exposes himself to two different players. Alu, oh, Bourne's down to half health towards the CT spawn. I imagine that was heard, and yet all of the uh, all of the players immediately focus their attention towards that CT spawn. No one, Alu, no one on Madeline's actually trying to face it early on. It's over towards B, where X7 by smoke down aggressive on long to limit the info. But in the meantime, of course, we see Madeline's focusing on that B bomb site and shush picks up two quick headshots. The flash in was perfect from Hunden. Sunny able to pull one back quickly and drops the Molotov so that they can't hunt them down. That allows him to try and stay alive and actually allow the rotation to come in. But as I say that, I jinxed it a little bit. Hunden picks himself up. A quick headshot and the second as well off the back of it. Leaves it all onto Alu. In the one versus two, he knows there's one player up close on the bomb site. Drop down into the pit. Here's it. And of course, Akar not able to hit the shot. Going for the knife and he gets it. Oh, I think he's... I think the op probably lost. Ariel up close though on the CZ. Steals away an AK now. Up towards that bomb site, but unfortunately, we do see Sunny joining in with Sergei to try and actually hold it down. Finally towards the bomb site, or back towards it to be more precise. Oh, the up, this is going to be tough, and Shush goes straight through the smoke, hoping the flash will work. It does for at least a couple of seconds. Sunny was blind, but eventually finding the kill. Roy gets one back from the bomb site, but. Unfortunately, it doesn't last too much longer before going down and return as well. As I said, some utility left friends, so they are able to drop a smoke on towards the bomb. Some flashes attempting to go over. That is not what they were aiming for. Second smoke down on the bomb as well, just to make it even harder. And there's one nice kill being found from X7. Knows that there's a player up close, I believe. Spots the shoulder now for sure. And takes down Hunden. Plenty of time, of course, for that defuse. Some pretty good map control. Okay, flash over. Sunny gets caught aggressive out on short. Have to clear the angle. Fates it with the shoulder peak and then swings wide. Sergey goes down and 
so too does the A-bombsite, I'd like to say. We don't even see Ents beginning to rotate at all, so... I mean, if Mad Lions are committing to A now, they will find the bomb plant for free. Oh yeah, I, I when people say like NA whatever, to clear the angle, makes it with the shoulder peak and then swings wide. Sergey goes down and so too does the A bomb site. I'd like to not having much money themselves. They have a little bit of loss bonus built up. They will lose one of those, or rather all of it now, apparently. Close in the bat rooms again. It is Sergey. Same position as the previous round. Bubski clears it. Alu, fortunately, just trade one back from long, but he's not able to stay alive. And Sunny, he's not able to find anything at all. Shush cleans up the A-bomb site. Acar, ready for the flank of Ariel. Goes ahead and solidifies Mad Lions the lead at halftime, at the very least, by one round. And probably a lot more, because they still have quite... Bubski here in that decides he wants to try and just creep out Monster. And it does work. X7 goes down, ready for the second angle as well. Clearing it all, and Ents just call for the save. No options, other, other than that really. I mean, maybe if they get the kill on Rai, it could uh, prompt them to go for it since the bomb isn't even been planted yet, but that's not even going to be allowed. Rai with two quick headshots. This is impressive from Mad Lions. Throughout the entire qualifier, have been uh, putting up some very, very good results. Took down North, I believe, in the... Oh, pulled back by Rai. And they're not really being cautious as of yet. The bomb does go down a little bit of a spam, though, from Alu does a tiny bit of damage onto Rai on the bomb site. But right now, he's just waiting for that CZ from behind to be able to pounce, and that's exactly what happens. It's actually Alu who finds that kill. Bit of damage onto Bubski before he goes down as well, giving X7 the chance, and the CZ picks up an instant headshot. Defense, we had the initial spam on X7. And Ariel as well being thrown over. I think he did spot Ryder on the corner back on long as well. Yeah, definitely. Re-peeks in to take that kill. Going for the wall bang on the bomb plant. They're not quite going to be able to connect with it, though. Hunden on five health defending. Picks up two. Hunden, the absolute god right now. Keeping Mad Lines in this round, but it's still going to be tough for them to claw out the victory in it. Unfortunately, it's getting harder and harder. Picked off one by one as Hunden goes down. Acor left alone. Picks off Alu at least, but as we can see, still left one on two. I mean, has the chance to try and play the time on the bomb. Sergey pushing up a little bit closer. The bomb now being tapped, so Acor, he does need to eventually peek out. Just in case it is being stuck, and... Alu again peeking early on in towards middle. He's been doing a good job of swapping it up and still finds the second kill. Even while blinded. Rai immediately peeking out. Alu takes the shot and I don't think the flash actually uh, completely blinded him. So did still have some vision. Mad Lions haven't lost two players on mid. Decide that it's best to just try and commit in towards B. And they do salvage it a little bit. Bringing it uh, into a two on three. Better than I was looking just a moment ago. But quickly it does fall apart yet again. Over on the T side, though, X7 is the one that picks up a bit of utility with a smoke and a flash. Two players holding over, you can see, and already one of them trying to push it a monster. That's Ariel not having a very successful time. Auto Director really does hate me. I don't understand why it can be so terrible. Rai picking up another headshot on towards Sergei. That one was my fault because I swapped the Sunny. X7, though, going to be charging in up short alongside Sunny. Does a decent amount of damage on that P250 initially, but only, only having the UMP as well. Can call for the help at least from Acor to come in from the short bat rooms. Is able to find two before he goes down to the scout there of Sergei. Acor indeed going to be helping out, stopping them from creeping around on the other side, but takes down one. Looking to try and face off against Sergei now as well, and also there's a flank coming in in mid that takes makes things even more difficult. Okay, Rai actually got spotted, but it doesn't matter. He actually manages to catch Sergei off guard. Tried to swap over for us manually. Didn't work out. A bit of utility, at least, as you can see. Immediately going to be going over for a B-Rush. Flash straight through the tunnel. Flash over as well. But shush. He's up close with the MP9. Looking for the ace. Will find it. There we have it. Four shot from someone. Take the uh, attention so that shush up close on the MP9. Can just spray some down. He actually just swings wide. Finds the timing as the flash is coming in. X7's back was exposed to him. And he's even able to find him. Most likely, we are going to be looking at a 14-6 lead for Mad Lions. And... Shush makes it even more likely. Spam intro to some Ryan connector. Needs to be careful. Could get caught with these players trying to come around pilots, but fortunately Hunden in position to try and hold it down. At the very least, delay is get gets one kill as well as dropping Alu onto three health. And then easily followed up by Rai. But Sergey on the scout. Okay, two quick headshots. That's an op now he can go ahead and pick up as well. So a 1v2, that is definitely winnable. Shush pushing forward gives the chance for the 1v1. And uh, one in towards the playground as well so that they couldn't actually just cross over and take the, that aggression in towards the fountain and haven't lost the control immediately and just commit in towards P and actually Shush had no idea to actually rebuy the utility so they'll be sitting around the same amount each apart from Shush who has to completely buy
and not trying to hunt this one down. Win. On the op, so he'll be taking the first point of contact, just looking to take one down on the op, and then that there is definitely a chance for a second player to be there as well. And obviously, peeking the op on your own with the bomb in your possession is very rarely a good idea. Didn't actually show himself. Instead, a little bit more of an aggressive angle taken by Acor, and he spots the shoulder. Five on two now. Wanted to say five on three. Unfortunately, ends continue to lose players. X7 gets leg down and finished off by the USP, trying to recover that bomb. And Ents is... It, Ents is, I guess, looking these rounds so far. It's just remaining the same. Well, players on both sides of him right now. Finds one and still manages to swing out and get Alu, who wasn't ready. He was throwing utility at that point when the initial kill came in. Sergey will at least trade it out, but not before, of course. Mad Lines. This should be a kill for X7 right now. That's been called over, most likely, to Sergey as well. Indeed, he's holding for it. And that opens up B. Suddenly, Ents have a fighting chance once again in this round. And the bomb should be planted quite easily. Hunden's still being cautious because they could run it back towards A if they wanted. Not too likely, though, and they definitely realize that now as Bootsy gets one.